cardinal parole and urges negotiation to find a win-win solution to war in Ukraine. As Russian forces continue to bombard Ukraine, the Vatican's top diplomat has called for peace negotiations to find a win-win solution to the war. In an interview with EWTA and Vatican correspondent Colm Flynn, Cardinal Pietro Parolin said that the message of the Holy See, of the Holy Father, is to stop the war. The second message is to start to negotiate, knowing that there is always an honorable solution, if we want. I insist on that we are not to defeat anybody, the Vatican Secretary of State said. In diplomacy, we speak about the win-win solution, that everybody is satisfied. I think that there is always space, just to achieve something which is of satisfaction for everybody, also in this situation, he added. The Cardinal was speaking on March 19, with a Russian assault on Ukraine already in its fourth week. The following day, Turkey's foreign minister said that the two sides were close to an agreement. Within 24 hours, however, a Russian government spokesman said there had been no significant progress in peace talks. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky and Pope Francis discussed the humanitarian crisis in the country during a phone call on March 22. The two men had previously spoken on February 26, two days after Russia's full scale invasion. Parolin told EWTN that goodwill was needed to achieve anything in the talks between Ukraine and Russia. Without the goodwill, there is no possibility of achieving anything, he underlined. The 67-year-old Italian cardinal, who celebrated a mass for peace in Ukraine at the Vatican on March 16, reiterated the message a few days later. Speaking to journalists as he inaugurated a new palliative care center in Passascuro, west of Rome, on March 22, he said, I think we are all at a loss in the face of what has happened and is continuing to happen, without knowing what the future holds hoping that we will succeed in putting an end to this massacre, I would define it as such, and that we will succeed first of all stopping the war, and then in starting negotiations that can lead to a solution. Cardinal Ayuso, for example, speaks fluent Arabic and was a professor of Islamic studies in Cairo before Pope Francis appointed him to lead the Catholic Church's interreligious dialogue initiatives. Ayuso is president of the Higher Committee on Human Fraternity. Of course, there are so many problems in the world, but, Pope Francis, never forgets his sons and daughters, who live here and have a special mission to perform to be witness of the Christian values of the gospel, Parolin said. It's not important to have results in life, I don't think. The important thing is to witness and to do our duty till the last, to the end, he said.